Hello. Did you know that we have a way to help you achieve consistent applications using something that we call element styles? Well, this is exactly what we will be talking to you about. Element styles is a concept we introduced in InTouch 2014. But what are the problems that we're trying to help our customers with with this feature? First, our customers all have a need to develop consistent applications, meaning that colors, fonts, line thicknesses, backgrounds, fields, etc. need to be consistent throughout your entire application. If you choose a certain type of letter, for example, a certain type of font for your labels or for your engineering units, that should be consistent all over. If you selected a specific color to be used for a specific meaning, you want that to be respected throughout your application. And you want that whether you are the only person working on that application or a team of people working in one. As a matter of fact, it becomes more important when you have more people, multiple people developing the same application. The other thing that is important is that customers need a way to precisely define what those standards are, what the graphical standards are for the HMI. Sometimes they give them to you, like for example, a customer may have a certain type of style, graphical styles that they have adopted at the company, uh, or sometimes it has to do with uh, industry standards that require you to use certain colors uh, for certain things. And then if you're an OEM or you're a system integrator, you are working precisely with multiple companies that have different graphical standards, you want to be able to reuse your engineering and simply change those standards without having to redo all your work and go into every piece of text, every line, every field, every font and so on to change them to adapt to another customer. What are element styles? Well, in order to explain element styles and to give you a very good idea, I'm going to start with a different product. I'm going to show you something that you have seen, which clearly conveys the um, concept. And then we'll see how we have applied that concept to the HMI. So here is Microsoft Word. We have all worked with it. So let's say that I am writing my first book and I am busy just in the content. But then as I start developing more and more, I want to make sure that I use my styles consistently all throughout. But I don't have to go back and remember what kind of font did I use for the titles or for the subtitles or for heading one or for quotes. So all I have to do is come to this ribbon and select the styles and apply them to different elements. So let's say that this is the title of my book. This is the subtitle. This is heading one. And then I see that I have a quote right here. So what I want to do is just apply these ones consistently. And again, I don't have to be finding out what style did I use what color, was it underlined, was it bold, was it italics for each different type of text. Now, let's say that I finished my book, somebody comes and tells me, Eduardo, your text is excellent, but it looks old. You need to change the style. Well, you don't have to go and redo everything. Basically, what you do is you go and load a different, in this case, a theme. That's what they call it in Microsoft Word. So without having to redo the content, now you can apply a different style. So how did we do that at the HMI level? Let's go to the HMI and see that. Here we are at the Orchestra Graphics Editor. I have placed a number of elements on the canvas which have no particular style. One of the things that you'll see is that now in the editor, we have this pull down list that says 
element styles. This is a list that includes a number of graphical styles for any kind of elements, whether it's a text or it's a line or a circle, rectangle, any type of element styles. It's a list that is pre-populated with certain styles that ship out of the box. This includes generic styles like intensity 1 to intensity 6, and then it gives you the option to define your own user defined, just in case that you need a style that we did not create for you. It also has a number of element styles that are associated to alarms. So in any case, let's go apply some of these styles. So you take an element, for example, this one title, and you say it's going to use the title style. So anywhere else that I use styles in my application, I do the same, and they'll be consistent. Same thing for label. If I want to display a uh, value and I want to do it consistently, I apply that style. All my engineering units, I'm going to use this style. For alarms, I'm going to go to the alarm section and apply the critical on act right here. Critical act right here. The alarm high on act the alarm high act because I, I design time I cannot see the difference but basically when uh, they are on act they'll be blinking when they're act they won't then let's look at some other elements. Let's say this pump that I want to show uh, type uh, interlock, an interlock style to show that status. And by the way, I don't have to select it from the list all the time. If I want to apply that to this text box underneath it, or all I have to do is take the format painter and apply it to the other component. Let's take the transitioning here again I'll use the format right here this time I'm going to take two components and set them to the active style and in this case I won't see difference with passive just simply because the passive style is um, white uh, fill with a, a black outline so uh, you won't see the the change I'll still apply the passive style so you can see here as I select any element I can see what style it has been assigned in the pull down list I can see that here now this is not only for design time you can play with these element styles and switch them at runtime so here I have an example I have a pump and I wanted to switch styles from passive through transitioning through active. So one of the things that we did is you double click on that and you can add an animation of type element styles. You'll see it right here. It's in the list right there. Okay. And then right here, you can select either Boolean type of, of animation or a truth table. In this case, I have selected a truth table so that I can go between passive transitioning and active under these conditions based on a custom property that I called speed. So let's look at it at runtime. So this is the window where I have placed that component. And all I have to do is as I move the slider, I can go from passive through transitioning and then all the way to running or active so as you can see i can use element styles not only at design time but more importantly you can use them at runtime and we give you different ways of doing that so this is how an application looks after you apply element styles you build an application and you can see that if you applied element styles 
your labels are consistent, your backgrounds are consistent, the colors are consistent all throughout. And it doesn't matter if you go to different windows, you'll see exact same thing. That colors, fields, lines, backgrounds, they're all consistent throughout your entire application. So what if I don't like these colors? We ship a default Galaxy library, a Galaxy style library that is in shades of gray. And you can say, yeah, I don't like uh, gray or my customer has a very different color standards or different type fonts that they require. Well, it's easy. You can go and change that very easily. How do you change that? Well, in the design environment, we have a way to configure your style library. You have a tab right here called Element Styles, where you can see all the different styles that you saw in that pull down list that I showed you before. They are right here. In the columns, you'll see a column for text, a column for fill, a column for lines, a column for outline. Basically, this shows you what aspects of each style are configured. So let's say that I wanted labels to be different and I wanted to use a different type of font. Well, out of the box, it's Arial 10 points. And let's say that I wanted to change that to something like Comic Sans Serif. comic and I chose that to be a little smaller okay and let's say that backgrounds I didn't like that gray and I wanted my background the feel to be very different I don't know maybe pink so you apply that and what happens is when you come to your application you can see that it has been changed immediately change so as you can see the arrows right here navigation arrows where it says storage now have that comic font the background change accordingly to pink let's say you start playing with this and mess up the standard and say hey i don't even remember what it was but i don't like this changes that you made so you can go to the Galaxy Element Styles, select the element that you change. Okay, this was text. Reset it to default, and there you go. It has been set back. Same thing I can do here for the fill. By the way, you can see that you have a preview right there. I can select one or more styles or all styles and press the reset and it will change them back to what they were. So if you change your styles, once you have adapted them to what you need or what your customer needs, all you have to do is export that. And you can say this is Eduardo's element style or you know your customer A style or whatever. Likewise, Let's say I have developed a project for a company. That company was acquired. They asked me to change the colors because their shade of gray is different now that they have been acquired by another company. So all you have to do is import the style library that you develop for that one company. We are shipping here a number of different examples. So let's say I showed you the gray one and let's say that I want to show you the shades of blue. So I choose the denim and then what happens is when I go to see the exact same application, it was changed to shades of blue. And everywhere where I defined a particular style, let's say the label, the value, engineering units, background, thicknesses, fields, and so on, just adopted the new library. They don't have to be flat. Let's say that somebody wants that a little bit of a gradient. Well, you can do that too. So as an example, I'm going to import a different 
library that is the denim gradient flavor of that and you can see it's a very slight gradient that we put in there but makes it more interesting now you typically do not change styles all the time styles are something that you develop in the beginning but once you develop it it stays the same and of course you don't want everybody to change styles only certain people should be authorized to change the styles in your galaxy so hopefully i have been able to show you how element styles help you achieve application consistency help you develop standards help you enforce those standards help you reuse your engineering and in the end it all translates into engineering efficiency well i hope that you have liked this session that you have enjoyed it and that you come back and visit us for more thank you